to look to. I know that in some of the matches before, some of you fans have had an opportunity to see on the back of their wrestling tights where they got that lightning bolt and then that halo around the top of that, and you can see it right there as Angel comes out of the ring. Well, that's bolt, of course, for Seabolt, and the halo is for Angel. Well, I don't know whether they're either one Angels or not, but I tell you, they really know how to wrestle, and they know how to get it on in the ring. Tremendous ability, both of these young men, who rely on their speed and their quickness. Quite different from the German troopers, as we mentioned earlier, fans, that you saw. The troopers who rely on their power and their strength and their bulk. They're big, they're huge, and extremely powerful. And, of course, they got that big wall behind them, backing them up. But here is a team that is much, much different. They rely on their moves just like that one. That Seabolt went right through and under the legs. Comes back with a headlock. Adams now again in that headlock. Rides him down to the mat as he came off of the ropes to Tommy Angel. You're getting an opportunity to see certainly contrasting styles in the tag teams. These two men who are so quick and so fast, they're like lightning on their feet. They're TNT and they are explosive in the ring, fans. Tommy Angel, Tommy Siebel right now. Angel having a little bit of trouble. Here's the tag. Duggins in. Right away now where the headlock comes Angel. These guys like to stay on the offense. You got to have strength in the arms and the shoulders to be able to do that as he rolled right on through that, came right up again with a headlock. Back to the ropes. He made the tag. Duggan's going to come off. He's going to get caught twice. One. No, oh, two. He kicked out. Thought he had him for a pin. Looked like it was all over for the team of Duggins and Stevie Boy Adams. To the man again with a headlock. Again, the count of two. And again, he just managed to get that shoulder up just before the count of three. The wild man, the raging bull, Manny Fernandez, fans. We're going to see him in our next match as we'll have more action coming up. As he kicked right out of that head scissor. And he flips them both off. Over one with a head scissors. Double drop kick. They both go down from that. Seabolt's going to roll him over. He had the leg hooked, but where was the referee? No, we didn't get a count as the referee was occupied at the moment and on the other side of the ring. Seabolt went for a pin. Hip toss. Headlock again. Again as he's got the pressure on it. Over up. They're not ready to concede anything to this team. It's on South Atlantic Pro Wrestling. All of these young men with tremendous careers ahead of them. Just outstanding athletes. You're going to be hearing from them for years to come, and you're going to see belts around their waist, and you're going to see money in their pockets. And if they so desire, probably like some of the other heavyweight champions that we've known, they may have women hanging all over them. Who knows? Seabold ducks right under that one. The combination like that and the tag team work at TNT just showed against Stevie Boy Adams and Daryl Duggins. No way he was going to be able to get up from that one. Fans, we're going to take another look at that, and then we're going to be back. We'll talk about that incident. And Manny, of course, when he got into the ring, fans, I hope you saw that he's having some words to the guy over there in the audience, and it looked to me, I believe that I would notice that it was the big man that had had some words to say earlier during one of the matches. But the bull has really been storming through South Atlantic Pro Wrestling. Shows you his tremendous power. The guy uh, is just wild when he gets into the ring. 
He's going at it just like there's no tomorrow when he comes off of the ropes like that with all of the tremendous power and force. Gonna be good, just hits the mat with almost all of the wind completely knocked out of him. Here's the bull now from behind with the arm. He's got the pressure right on that shoulder. Again, Manny wanting to hurt. I, I don't know whether, again, he's trying to send some kind of a message to Wahoo McDaniel or not. He keeps looking around like, hey, is Wahoo around? Am I going to see Wahoo or what's Wahoo going to say about this? But Wahoo, he says, take a good look. This could be your arm, and I may just hand it to you someday. A man that I think you really don't want really mad at you would be Manny Fernandez. Johnny Good, so far, no offense. He hadn't been able to get untracked at all. He put that suplex on Johnny B. Good. One, two, three, no way. The young fella can get up from such a powerful move as that. The winner, the Raging Bull, Manny Fernandez. And fans, well, let's see. We can take another look at that one.